Hey everyone, this is YouTube Media, and this device that I have here with me is a portable Wikipedia reader that I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing today. This is called the Wiki Reader. Um, it has everything on Wikipedia except it's all in this little device and without any internet. It's all based on memory and it has nearly 3.1 million articles all from Wikipedia on this little device. So let's go ahead and unbox this. And here is the manual. It's a real quick and easy one to figure out. And here is the wiki reader itself. We're going to get to that in a second. And it also comes with two AAA batteries. It does run on AAA batteries, but don't worry, it has a one-year battery lifetime, 90 hours. So you won't have to replace these for a full year. So let's go ahead and get to the wiki reader. All right, and here is the wiki reader. It's actually really light. It's not heavy at all. That's what I noticed immediately. It's all white on the back end. Here's the front screen, black outline. Um, there's basically only four buttons on it. On the front there's the search, the history, and the random button. And we're going to demonstrate those later. I'm going to show you what they do. Um, on the top we have the simple power button, and on the back is the battery case. Now as I said, because this is all memory based, it also runs on a micro SD card. So right in the back where the battery compartment is, the micro SD card is right here. It comes, at least with this particular model, there is an 8GB SanDisk 8GB uh, microSD card. So you can take that out. So in case you're wondering, as far as updating this in the future, they do provide free updates. You can take the microSD card if you have a um, slot to connect it to your computer and you can update it. Um, if you want to update it yourself or you can purchase a new card that they'll mail to, to you and you can just plug in that new micro SD card with the newest Wikipedia updates. So let's go ahead and install the batteries and I'm going to turn this on and demonstrate it. Alright, now that I have the batteries installed, we're just going to go ahead and press the power button on the right here. Just hold it down. Instantly turns on. And there we go. And now when you turn it on, depending on the model you have, you can also press this globe icon and choose your languages. This particular model only has English right now, but it comes in 15 different languages. So let's just go ahead and go back, Wikipedia English. So what you do is basically just type in it as, is, as if it's the search box on Wikipedia. So let's say I want to search for YouTube. I am typing upside down here, so forgive me. Uh, oops, and there is a backspace button right here in case you mess up. Just put in that. And. Oh my, it's hard to type upside down here. So, YouTube, and it displays live search results, um, search suggestions, just as about every website nowadays, as you type. And then you can scroll down, and you notice when I scroll down, there is a scroller right here on the left, a scroller bar. So, you can scroll down through all the different search results. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and click the YouTube, you just tap it, and it brings you right to the article like this. Really simple to figure out. And again, you can scroll down through the whole article, there's lots of information, tons of different articles, it's the whole Wikipedia right here in your hands. Um, now as you notice, some of the words are underlined, these are actually uh, uh, linked text to other articles, so there's links throughout the article, just like on the regular Wikipedia, so let's say right here, source code, that's a link to another article, so we click that and it takes me to the source code article that would be on Wikipedia. So that's a really great feature. Also, this does have a back page button, so you can go back to the previous page, just like on an internet browser, so you just tap that, and it takes you back to the previous one, YouTube. So you can go back and forth. Um, another thing is you can also see your history, so this is what the history button is for, obviously, you just press that, and it goes to your different history, the history of your different articles you've visited. You can also clear the history, which is great. You just press history button again, and it says clear history, I'm going to go ahead and click yes. Um, if you're wondering what the random button do does, this is actually a cool feature. If you're bored or you don't have anything to do or you want to learn something new, um, you just press the random and it brings you to a random article. And it's usually different every time, obviously, because there's millions of articles. And it's actually pretty interesting. So there's one about Kentucky. Um, let me press it again. Skinner. You are my treasure, so I guess it might be a movie or a book, but there's lots of different cool articles. Rogers, Russell, maybe, maybe an athlete or something. So you can learn some every day or however much you want to go through the random button. The wiki reader also has a parental control filter to filter out adult content in case you're giving this to someone young or have a child around. So let's say I type in 
something for an adult rated article and then you just go ahead and tap it because this is adult rated it now asks me for the password to access this article so I already set my password and mine is just the letter Y it's pretty basic you're going to use something more complex than that you just click OK and now it allows me access to the article you can also turn off the filter on the top right this arrow button you press that and over on the left you press the R button and then it brings up turn on filter, turn off filter, or change password. So that comes in really handy. So that's about it for the wiki reader. It's really simple to use, really easy to navigate, and it comes in really handy when you're traveling or on school or on a national park and you want to look something up, the history of it. The random button is also really fun. It's light, as I said, only 4.5 ounces, 3.9 inches tall, so it's under 4 inches. Um, a year of battery life. This screen is 3.5 inches. Um, so that's about it. You can go to the wikireader.com to check this out for more, uh, purchasing the prices. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, and all the links will be in the video description below.